Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick Acosta. I just want to remind you today to walk by faith. And I know many times we've heard it said, walk by faith, not by sight. Walk by faith, not by sight. And we hear it so much that we begin to think that it's not realistic, that it's not attainable, that it's very unapplicable, but it's applicable. And let me remind you how. There's things in your life, circumstances, people around you, work, school, even church and church folk, even the type of preachings that you hear, even the, the Christian Instagram posts that you see. There's going to be things that come against and that contradict the word of God, the promises of God, the blessings of God to believers under the new covenant like you and I, those who have been born again through faith in Christ. And there's going to be things that contradict what we call truth and what Jesus taught and his apostles taught that is going to, is going to try to lead us in a way uh, of confusion, in a way that will not grant us the path to life and godliness, to the promises of the new covenant. And, and this is the reason why we are to always remain focused on what God said, on what the scriptures say, on his promises and blessings and to keep focus on the things that he says are of his spirit, not of the world, not of the flesh. And when we keep that mindset on what he said, on what is good, on what is pure, what is of the Holy Spirit who is now in us, we will find it easier, not easy, but easier than before to be able to reject and ignore and not even pay attention or tolerate those things in our lives. You know, somebody around us, um, they keep talking about the flu and it's flu season. We have to remember to walk by faith, not by sight. I'm, I'm not going to get confused by how many people around me are getting sick. I'm going to keep my mind on the fact that Jesus said by his stripes, but his wounds, by his wounds, I was healed and I'm going to remain healed and I'm not going to get that flu. Um, you know, Christians and ministers, I hear about them getting divorced and marriages are breaking up and, and, and you know, the, the enemy is just having his way and their flesh is having it, their way um, in their marriage. And I have to keep my mind focused on the fact that Jesus said, let no man separate what God has brought together, um, that unless it's for sexual immorality, let you remain, right? And I got to keep my mindset on the word of God so that those things that I see, that I hear, the sight, don't get me out of my stance of being able to see the manifestations of what Jesus paid the price for, of what Jesus promised, of the things of the kingdom of God. And, it, and it's when I keep my mind on what it's supposed to be that I can ignore what's not supposed to be and I can be enabled to not let those things that are happening that are not supposed to happen in my life confuse me and make me expect them. So walk by faith and not by sight, by expecting, by being hopeful, by being confident, by believing and trusting in those things that God says are for you as his child, as his son and daughter. And as you do that, don't be distracted, don't be intimidated, and don't be confused by those things, by those people, by those news that are taking place in your world that are saying contrary to what God said. Because just because it's going on around you, or people that you love or, or around the, uh, the church, it does not mean that it's going to happen to you because this is a faith walk. Those who walk by faith see the promise and nobody else does. So walk by faith. Continue to remember the word of God so that you can see the word of God in your life. And don't be distracted by what's going on around you. Amen. Stay in truth so that you can see it in your life. I hope this encourages you. And remind a friend today, remind a brother and a sister today to walk by faith and not by sight. Who cares what's been happening? Who cares what people have been saying? Who cares how many have fallen? You're not supposed to fall. So stay strong in truth so that truth can keep you strong. And help your brother and sister today by sharing this message with them. Love you guys. Until next time.